Someone's name in this public server is Mama. Ah, uh, hello. Hello there, bread pals. So I was going through the comments and someone requested that I do a full tour of my Blockburg mansion. It's a it's a spring mansion. It's 1.9 million. And it's been a while, you know, since you guys seen the entire thing. It, I, you know, this was my last project of last year. I also needed to do this video because I'm going on vacation and this is an easy video to record, put out for you guys. Cause yeah, I'm going to go to Disneyland. Here we are, the spring mansion. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, once again, 1.9 million. Probably one of the other biggest builds I've ever made. Like that's a house. There are some random flaws with it. Like this roof right here, you know, very, there's a lot of overhang going on there. And also these roofs here, you know, that's okay. That's completely fine. Just don't look at it. But yeah, it's my mansion that I originally made for winter. So it was very snowy and I loved the snowiness of it. But I can I transformed it into like a, a spring mansion, even though it's summer now. Happy summer. So yeah, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys the tour. Welcome to my crib. Where do we even begin with this thing? Let's start with the garage. So over on this side, I have my I have two garage doors. I have two garages, one on this side and then one at the front. So, um, yeah, the garages, and I just have, like, my expensive vehicles in here. This is probably, like, the main reason why it's so expensive, like, this build itself. But I just have, um, you know, I got a water bottle in here. Yeah, just your typical garage stuff. And I can already smell this. Like, I I know what this smells like. The garage is, like, mustiest place. I think that's a, that's a good starting point. Let's go over here. You walk up these stairs, and this is where my front door is. I have a lot of random landscaping around, but, uh, yeah, this is my balcony area. If I want to, I just come out here and chill. Nice viewing spot. There's another staircase that leads down just around to the back. We'll, we'll come back to this. And then over here is another balcony with a, an outdoor sort of eating spot. So I got a grill, got a counter with a microwave here. The rad, I must say. All right, when we go to the inside of this house, you walk on in, foyer area, entry area. You can change your clothes here. Uh, of course, I have a photo of Colt Poultice himself. Very nice. And then um, to the door on the left here as you walk through, this is a bedroom. Anyone can sleep here and nice. And then it comes with an ensuite. I don't know if you call it ensuite, but it comes with an office. So this bedroom has an office. It's quite nice. And you can get a view of the back here too. Moving along over here, this is my piano. Gotta have like some random piano to fill up this space. Some bookshelves you can read here if you like. This is all of my trophies. These are all of my trophies I've earned in the game. The login streaks to total visits to the um, skill trophies. I got the OG athletic skill at level 10 before. <laughs> Legacy. And then I got the new one here just recently. So I'm all good with my skills. Very nice. This is just a balcony in the back. You can sit down here. Have some shrimp or meatball appetizers. Really love those uh, food warming trays. Over here, this is my um, living room. It's like the main, the main living room of the house. Quite nice. I put some more trophies on display here. 1 billion and 5 billion trophies, which you can't get these days anymore. I think the next one's like 10 billion, right? I don't know. Um, then I have my Christmas trophies. I got my cube trophies from April Fools. That sleigh trophy was the most like craziest one to get because you have to look for Santa Claus in the sky to drop a bag of presents and quickly grab it. You over here, this is just like a mud room sort of like area, I guess. Um, and then it comes with a laundry laundry room. I almost called a laundromat laundry room right there. Then let's go back over here. This is my dining room and the kitchen right next to each other. Cross. I love this kitchen. It's probably like it's just a huge kitchen, very mansion like I guess. Yeah, my favorite kitchen. My main house, by the way. You continue further. Just another seating area. This is a mini library. There's also a balcony here with an inconvenient spot for a door. But you can like go to the back balcony and just sit down. A lot of seating. I will say there's one thing about this house. There's way too much seating but you know what what else can i do right um this is a closet this is a storage closet gotta put my exclusive halloween christmas things in here but i think it's just halloween that ghost is helping me change the light bulb this is my bathroom first floor bathroom guess the bathroom i guess but it's full um and then if you go over here this is my pc lan gaming area my pc my lan room so I can bring all my friends together. We can play video games all at once, you know, have that fun time. And then the back here, I just have arcade machines randomly. Don't worry, it's under this balcony. It totally won't get wet and break. 
more seating. And then out this one, there's a jacuzzi. It's a hot tub. You know, it's very nice. I love it. Gets your moods up really quickly. And that is the main floor of the house. But uh, let's go ahead and go to the downstairs area. This is one of my favorite areas. I've been working on some rooms down here recently for videos. So you'll notice. But as soon as you walk downstairs, um, there's a bar. Nice little bar if you want some drinks of water and juice. There we go. It's very nice. Um, this is, of course, the door from the first floor. I've got an indoor pool right here. Indoor pool. And these are supposed to be like water puddles, you know, puddles of water when we get out and try to do some detailing there. There's a bunch of towels here in case you need to dry off. And then I turned this recently, turned this into a door, pivoting door, where you can just once again have an outdoor eating area. Gotta have my indoor pool in case it's too cold outside to swim. This is one of the rooms I recently renovated not too long ago, but it's my movie theater. We did get new recliners like a while ago and I thought why not revamp my movie theater room and I've got my custom posters ranging from Beauty and the Beast, Peter Rabbit, you can't really see this one but that's me. I starred in the new Frozen 2 movie, I think this is Frozen 2, look at me, I played all the characters and I was also in the Harry Potter movie, yes, with Morgan and Kelly. Like these, All these posters are really old, this is from like Breadtown Square or something. Red Town Square? No, Red City Square. Red City Square. Or was it from the mall? I don't remember where I ma first made that. But yeah, in the movie theater room, you have um, slushy machines, popcorn, cotton candy, all of your convenient movie theater snacks in this one room. Very nice. Moving over here, there's a bathroom. It's bathroom, conveniently, you know, next to the bar and movie theater. Uh, we go around here. This is my gift wrapping area. I made this during the Christmas time, obviously, and I thought, why not have a gift wrap station? Not just for Christmas, but for every occasion, you know. This this is a permanent thing, so this is what I enjoy. If we go out here real quick, this is a sauna. Before they added in the sauna, like placeable sauna thingy with the recent update, I made my own little sauna, custom sauna. Yes, too young to do meditation. Um, if we go over here, I have some lovely bread fam art. This is by a wonderful artist from Twitter who makes me a lot of amazing art. I'm super grateful to have them as a bread fam, bread pal. Their name is Phil on Twitter. Um, I'll put their link in the description. So amazing, and I I love all of their art. And I still have yet to upload more art. I'm just, um, I'm slow, okay? Don't mind me. Uh, over here is my little mini locker room. I recently renovated this with the most recent update. And this is my at-home gym. Personal gym. I have everything I need to survive, yes. Fun, very nice. Oh yeah, also in this garage, there is a guest room down here. I almost forgot to mention. But yeah, the guest room is literally in the garage. It's it's really nice. They have their own bathroom and walk-in closet if needed. Gotta have many guest rooms for anyone who wants to visit and sleep over. Okay, and that is all of the first floor, like the bottom, the basement level. Okay, um, let's just go ahead and go to the backyard here. So I got a lot of random sleds and tubes and whatnot. Uh, if you go down here, I have a hot springs. So um, yeah, literally hot springs. I don't have it turned on right now. It's just like, I guess a swimming pool, but I do have the steam thingy here. And yeah, it turns into a hot spring. Very nice. Let's take a little dip and relax. And then I also have a sunken um, living area. Once again, another lounging spot. And I am cooking this elf. He's still hanging on strong. Maybe it's the magic from Christmas, but I jailed him and put him over my campfire. And then I have an outdoor bar. Um, I don't really use this too often, but it's just nice to have. Do I even have lights in here? I don't know. It's, still, it's really dark. And that is pretty much my backyard. All right, moving on to the last area of the house. Let's go back inside. Oops, that is not a door. Back inside. I'm going to go to the upper level now, the upstairs. Up here is like a loft-like area. This is the... I have a couple of desks here. People, If I want to work like on stuff, I don't know. I just thought to add something. This is my second living room upstairs. I really love this one because you get a nice view out here. Um, looking down at things. Um, it's a good view. It's a good view. Very great. And that's me being lazy with uploading stuff. So I put the same ones over and over again. And if you go straight down this hallway, there's a bunch of bedrooms. Um, you have one guest bedroom here with its on own ensuite bathroom. Uh, here's another bedroom for like bedroom for kids. They have their own like computers, their own bunk bed and whatnot. Um, over here in this one, this is another. Oh, this is a baby room. Okay. 
baby room for the infants and toddlers and stuff. And then over here is a bathroom. It's a upstairs bathroom. Very nice. And then I believe these two are bedrooms as well. Like another bedroom here. Nothing too crazy. Very simple bedroom. Flat screen TV. And another bedroom with another ensuite bathroom. It's quite a lot. I will say quite a lot of bedrooms and bathrooms. I have random photos of like mountains and I love nature. Okay. And then if you go through here, um, there's just some random like instruments, random lounging area. This is a bathroom. Bathroom for this main master bedroom over here. I wouldn't even call it a master bedroom, but this is the last bedroom of the house. Pretty simple as well. Um, and yeah, so that is my full tour of my spring mansion. 1.9 million. Um, I've lost count how many bedrooms and bathrooms there were. Eight. I think there's eight bedrooms. It's an eight bedroom house. But that is the full tour of my mansion as requested. Most updated it will ever be right now. I don't know if I'm doing anything else with this place. I think I'm actually done with it though. But it will still be my main, I guess, my main house. Along with my milk carton alley. You'll see me switching from here and there. Yeah, that's my tour of my mansion. It was supposed to be like a ski lodge from winter to spring. I think, I think I definitely did enjoy building this house. It had its moments where I was like struggling and whatnot to fill up spaces and such. But in the end, I prevailed and this is what I got. Oh, there's one last thing I need to show you. It's my secret area. It's right here. Uh, it's just a secret room where I just fill up my moods and um, change my clothes. Yeah, thought I'd make this little spot useful and it's really hidden. No one can really tell unless you watch this video. But yeah, that will wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it interesting, inspiring, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. This was like my fifth video I recorded in a row today and I'm exhausted. I have to edit all of these five videos before I head out on a vacation.